A lawyer for the New York Times is telling a judge that Sarah Palin's defamation lawsuit against the paper should be tossed out. And why is that? Well, because it was all, quote, an honest mistake when an editorial blamed the former vice presidential candidate for inciting the shooting that wounded Congresswoman Gabby Giffords and killed six others. In fact, here's a quote from the editorial. Sarah Palin's political action committee circulated a map of targeted electoral districts that put Ms. Gifford and 19 other Democrats under stylized crosshairs. Never mind that in that very same edition of that very same paper, there was another article that actually refuted what had been written in the editorial. And in that we see Sarah Palin, the former vice presidential candidate, drew sharp criticism for having posted a graphic online that showed crosshairs over the districts of several members of Congress, including Ms. Giffords, though no connection to the crime was established. So is the New York Times biased or just incompetent? Maybe both. Here with this take, Howard Kurtz, host of the Media Buzz show on the Fox News channel. And I'm laughing about it, but I shouldn't laugh because this is actually serious stuff. And, you know, she, she's calling them out on this and threatening a lawsuit. And they're trying to say, no, 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 just an honest mistake. Was it really an honest mistake in your view, Howie? You know, I'm usually sympathetic to honest mistakes because we all do make mistakes, but this was not um, mangling a couple of facts in a two-day-old story. It was an utterly fraudulent premise in a six-year-old story, which, as you point out, the Times and other organizations already knocked down. There's no evidence that this mentally ill gunman in Tucson had ever even seen this political map put out by Sarah Palin's committee. And it was really a kind of a reprehensible attempt by the paper on the very same day, Trish, uh, that a gunman uh, shot and wounded those five people to Virginia uh, baseball practice, including mm -hmm. Steve Scalise, who was in the hospital at the time, mm -hmm. uh, to distract attention from that by dredging up this 2011 shooting. But what's interesting is that they seem to know factually one thing, yet their editorial was writing something else. So what's the process here, Howie? I mean, walk us through when an editorial is published like that, isn't there anybody that's sort of, you know, checking to make sure the fact's right? Well, sure. I mean, by definition, a, a, a lead editorial in a paper like the New York Times, it's not just some random columnist, you know, being sloppy. Uh, it has to be looked at by senior editors of the paper. They are speaking for the newspaper as an institution. Uh, and so I believe they were so gung-ho to make a, a political bias. point that they didn't. Another well, word. I don't have a problem with bias. It's the editorial page. They can be as biased as they want, but they cannot fraudulently misrepresent mm -hmm. the facts. I and mean, I've said, Trish, that Sarah Palin as a public figure may have a hard time winning this lawsuit, but one of the things you have to prove as a public figure is reckless disregard for the facts, mm -hmm. and this would seem to provide some pretty good uh, evidence on that. Certainly point. reckless when, you know, one part of the paper is saying one thing, and then the actual story part of the paper is saying something else. In other words, the reporting reported something different, the editorial, again, something different, Howie. Yeah, and it's such a serious charge to accuse a former vice presidential nominee of incitement in this six-year-old shooting that tore the nation apart. It was such a horrible tragedy for Gabby Giffords, not to mention the six people who lost their lives. Mm -hmm. And to do it in the way and to rush it into print and to not have the facts straight and then correct it the next day. But by the way, while the Times did run that correction, it did not apologize to Sarah Palin Hence the lawsuit. Yeah, you know what? She did deserve an apology. She really did um, under the circumstances. Howie, the, the, has the New York Times changed in your view? Has it always been like this? And maybe now that we have more media sources out there that are willing to call them out on this stuff, we're recognizing it? Well, it's always been a liberal newspaper that obviously pushes its agenda on the editorial pages. We can debate the news pages, but I've never seen an example like this so egregious, uh, so damaging, uh, that was done at a moment of such uh, national shock over gun violence purely to change the subject, blame a Republican. Uh, it's not something I think we would have right. seen in years past from the New York Times. Howie, thank you so much. Always Great. good to see you. And make sure you Same check here. out Howie on Media Buzz every Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern on the Fox News Channel. We'll be right back.